Hey guys, what is up? The boy Gerald here and welcome to another video. So in today's video we will be having a look at still one of the best builds in Ghost of Tsushima base game and new game plus, the unbreakable Gusako build. Which for me honestly is the most OP samurai build in the game when you of course use the right combination of charms. So in this video we will be covering what is so great about this build, what the build can do in action and how to make this unbreakable Gusako build for yourself. But before we are heading into the details, if you haven't already dropped a like, we'd really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date on the latest content of the latest games, including Ghost of Tsushima and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, make sure to subscribe to the channel and help the channel reach 250 subs by the end of 2020. So with that being said, let's get into the most OP build in Ghost of Tsushima. So this unbreakable Gusako build definitely has to be one of the most OP builds in the game due to its staggering capabilities against not only normal foes but also against bosses which you will encounter in the many duels in the game. With the right stand selected this build will break through any defense with its stagger damage in mostly 2 hits and due to the equipped charms 8 out of the 10 times enemies will be staggered and knocked down and you can pick them off very easily with just one hit by pressing the square button once it appears on the enemy. And as I said earlier, this is also the case for bosses, as the most central component of any boss fight is to deplete the stagger meter in order to get some damage in once the meter is fully depleted. And with this build this really becomes a piece of cake, at least when you equip the right stance, which in duels is mostly the stone stance for swordsmen and ronin. There is a significant difference of doing stagger damage when in the wrong stance and when positioned in the right stance. When fighting this ronin in a duo, at first I made the mistake of not fighting in the according stance, but once I switched to the right one, the boss fight immediately became a lot easier and its stagger meter depleted in no time, thanks to the great capabilities of this build. So since you guys have now got a glimpse of what this build can do, it seems about time to get into the details, being the gear and the charm selected in order for you to try this build out for yourself in your own playthrough. So first let's start with the appearance and the gear since this will form the foundation of this build. So for this build you will need the Gusaku armor and this armor you will actually unlock through a mythic tale called the unbreakable Gusaku. And if you haven't already collected the armor I will link the video to my guide in the description below so you immediately know how to get it. But yes, as I said before you will need the Gusaku armor for this build for its insane stats. And in order to get the preferred stats, you do not even need to upgrade it fully to the 5th and last upgrade. But the 4th upgrade will also perfectly suffice for this one. So the Gusaku armor, when fully upgraded, will have a colossal increase to health, a massive increase to stagger damage and most importantly for this build, that killing a staggered enemy will restore 20% of health. And I will come back to the importance of this stat later on in the video. To top the appearance off, I of course chose the Gusaku helmet as well, just because it is part of the Gusaku set but also due to its uniqueness. And Kijin's blood mask since it just looks great with the entire set. Next up, the most important components of the build, the charms. So the selection of charms is really important for this build. And what you want to do is focus specifically on charms that have a staggering effect do stagger damage or increase a certain percentage chance. So first up I went with the charm of Chinatsu Hiko, since staggering an enemy prevents interrupted melee attacks for a total of 6 seconds. Then I picked the charm of Suzano, since staggered enemies have a 30% chance to be knocked down. And this is what I told earlier because after you have knocked the enemy you can pick them off with an instant kill move by pressing the square button. Next up to greatly increase the stagger damage I chose the charm of bludgeoning two times since it will stack and increase stagger damage by a great amount. And to increase the chance that enemies will be knocked down once staggered I went with the charm of fortune two times stacking the percentage chance to almost 100 so in every fight and even in boss fights you will be able to knock down the enemy and get a great amount of damage in with the instant kill ability when pushing the square button. So all of the aspects combined, the charms and the gear will make an amazingly OP samurai build or to be specific in this case an OP stagger build. As you guys could see, the build really shreds through every enemy when used right and due to the ability that killing staggered enemies will restore 20% of health, you will never be low on health even on the harder difficulties such as hard or lethal mode. So guys, this was it for today's video on the most OP build in Ghost of Tsushima. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of this build. 
Also, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, as this will definitely help out the channel. And if you want to stay updated on the latest Ghost of Tsushima content and the latest games such as Assassin's Creed Valhalla starting on the 10th of November, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Through this, you will not only support the channel, but also help the channel in its goal of reaching 250 subs by the end of 2020. So as always, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.